You can have the strongest legs in the world, but if you don't have a strong core, you'll never be able to use them efficiently. I'm here to tell you about the top eight core moves that every cyclist needs to know. Let's get started. Single leg crunch. We're gonna be coming down onto the mat, lying on our backs with one knee bent. With one leg straight, one knee bent, hands are gonna reach out in front of you, and then all you'll be doing is crunching up while simultaneously lifting the leg up. This exercise helps you build strength in the core to help minimize wasted energy on the bike. Next is our power bridge. We're gonna be starting on the mat on our backs with our knees bent, toes up, pressing into the heels. As you lower down, make sure that the shoulders and the head are on the mat, and then lifting the hips up, you should feel a nice stretch throughout your hip flexors, engaging the glutes and strengthening the lower back. So coming up towards the ceiling and then lowering right back down. Hip extensions. This exercise is gonna strengthen the lower back and the glutes to help you be a more efficient cyclist. So we're gonna come down onto the mat in a prone position laying on our bellies. Go ahead and fold the hands on top of each other, resting the forehead on the hands. With feet hip distance apart, you're gonna be activating the glutes and strengthening the lower back to lift the thighs up off the ground. Forearm plank. A great exercise not only for the core, but for your upper body for when you're in the drops. Setting up for forearm plank, make sure that the elbow is right underneath the shoulders, heels are together, straight line from the head to the heels, gaze is slightly in front of the mat, pressing into the mat with your elbows, tuck the tailbone underneath you, staying nice and strong throughout the core. Side plank and thread the needle, a great exercise for the obliques to help stabilize you while you're on the bike. Setting up for side plank, make sure that the shoulder is right in line with the elbow, that the feet are stacked, Lifting up, straight line from the head to the heels, opposite arm reaching up towards the ceiling, reaching underneath you to thread the needle, and then coming right back to start. Scissor kicks. We're gonna start by lying on our backs. This exercise is gonna not only strengthen the lower abs, but also the inner thighs that is gonna help you have an efficient pedal stroke. So laying down on your back, Lifting shoulder blades and head up off the mat, lifting feet up off the mat, you're just going to crisscross at the ankles, keeping the core nice and engaged and the lower back pressed into the mat. Catapult crunch, another exercise that we're gonna be down on the floor for. Now this crunch is a power crunch that's gonna help you stay in that flex position while you ride the bike for those long rides. Coming down onto the mat, arms are gonna be reaching up overhead, feet are flat on the ground, you're just gonna come up powerfully and then slowly lower right back down. Boat pose, another total core crusher. So starting in this V position with your body, legs are extended, arms are at the side, all you're gonna do is pulse your way up and lower down. Coming up and lowering down. If you love this workout and you wanna see more exercises like it, head to bicycling.com for more.